Hey guys, this video is a little bit more serious, a little bit more personal, and a little bit more controversial than the average video that I make on YouTube. I would like to talk about my experience with uh, needle phobia um, and my experience with it during pregnancy. This video is best for people who can relate to this experience and who are concerned about their own pregnancies. I do expect this video to run a little bit long, so I will be editing for conciseness and I will also be doing a screenshot here so you can pause and maybe jump to sections of the video that will be more useful for you. The first thing I would like to do is give you a bit of a backstory on my experience with needles and the development of my phobia. And I will do this through the telling of three quick stories about my life. Firstly, when I was two years old, I ran around a glass table and slammed my head on the, right on the corner. And as a result, I had to have six stitches right on my forehead. And if you look really closely, I still have a little white line there. Can you see it? At the time, um, all I remember is being told that if I was really good, that I would get a finger puppet. And then my mom was asked to leave the room. The doctor did his thing, but I felt no pain. And it wasn't stressful for me. The second story I want to share is that when I was 10 years old, everyone in my class had to go and get a vaccination done. And I wasn't worried about this at all. And I was actually thought I was really stupid that a bunch of girls in my class started being typical 10-year-old girls and getting all overdramatic and overreacting to the fact that we all had to get a, a vaccination done. So we walk into the room to get vaccinations done, and I went first because I wasn't worried about it. Just a needle, no big deal. I sit down, I get the vaccination performed, but then right away afterwards, I started hyperventilating and wound up passing out and getting carried past the line of students to the nurse's office. I thought that was really weird, but didn't know what to think of it. However, as a result of that incident, I developed a fear of having that same reaction happening and thus a fear of the needles, uh, needles themselves. I am not specifically afraid of a needle, I am afraid of the reaction that I have to a needle. And this brings me to my third story. Um, I would like to answer the question for you of what is a vasovagal response? Okay, so in grade 12 I had to go and have blood work performed to confirm or deny the fact that I had mono. So much to my dismay, my mom made me do this and I went and I was terrified and the, I was laid down, the, the woman took blood, I never look, the woman took blood, but then afterwards the reaction I had was so dramatic that it terrified m my mom. Um, afterwards I started hyperventilating, um, I was shaking uncontrollably, I had the whole tunnel vision experience, and um, if I hadn't been walking around I probably would have fainted. Um, and other kind of like embarrassing facts is my mom said that I started like uncontrollably farting. <laughs> the things I do for you guys. This is a vasovagal response. A vasovagal response is a body's involuntary reaction after having needles or blood work performed. And this reaction affects your breathing system, your um, circulatory system, causing you to faint. Apparently your, your digestive system, for me my digestive system seizes, makes me want to throw up and like fart apparently at the same time. Uh, um, and that's a vasal vagal response. Those three stories I've told you, I've hoped would show you that people develop needle phobias over time and that um, secondly that I am afraid not of the needle itself but of the response I get which is totally involuntary. Fun fact, I'm a classic case of someone who would develop a vasal vagal response. It's something that can happen until you're 10 years old and it will happen if you've had a serious incidence with needles um, in your childhood prior to being 10 years old. So I'm a classic case of someone who would have the joy of developing a vasal vagal response. So, yay. When I was growing up and thought about having a baby, I thought about not the fear of labor, but the fear of the blood work I would have to do while pregnant. I had blood work ran at the beginning of my pregnancy to confirm the fact that I was indeed pregnant so that I could start prenatal care. That is the only blood work I have had done 
in this pregnancy. Um, Joe and I, as a couple, we chose not to do the um, developmental issues screening. To me, the mother of all tests in pregnancy is the gestational diabetes test. My understanding about this test was that it would be a two-hour procedure. It would involve me fasting for 10 hours, going to, get, going to the clinic, then taking my blood, then me sitting down for an hour, and then taking my blood again. To someone like me with a needle phobia, the anticipation of that is so terrifying. However, I had kind of come to a place where I was somewhat able to manage the situation and was willing to do the two hour blood test. When I went to my doctor's appointment at 22 or 23 weeks pregnant, I was given the requisition form for the three hour gestational diabetes test. A three hour gestational diabetes test involves fasting for 10 hours, going for blood work, they give you the, they get the, they do the blood work stuff, then they give you the sugar drink, you go back, you get another um, blood test, then you wait another hour and get another blood test performed. It's not possible. I just fell apart on the inside. For the next hour of our um, prenatal class, I just sat there like trying to not hyperventilate and I don't remember what happened in the first like 10 minutes of that class because I was trying so hard to keep my feelings to myself but I was like in not good shape. I uh, could never imagine myself going through that kind of procedure and the sheer anxiety that that induced for me um, it was like off the charts um, for the next I'd say three weeks I pretty much just shut down off of the top yeah too much too much at my last appointment about last week um, I talked to my doctor at the end of the session. To my surprise, my doctor was very empathetic and um, she said that due to the fact that I have never had indications of gestational diabetes, I've never had sugar spilling into my urine when I go for my routine monthly checkup, and that I've had panels run to check my thyroid before, um, that I am probably not the kind of person who would have gestational diabetes issues in the first place. If I'm feeling good, but I'm not having issues with blood sugar or um, like vision issues or um, anything that would alert them to the fact that there might be something going on, or like if the baby gets too big, or if I do start spilling sugar into my urine, then at that time we will consider doing the gestational diabetes test. But until that point, um, my doctors are totally on board with me not doing the gestational diabetes test. So that was a huge relief to me. And I guess the message there is that if you do have this experience of being very needle phobic, um, that it can be really helpful to talk to your doctor. I would just like to conclude by saying that there is someone, and that person is me, who is in the community who has a very serious phobia of needles and who has chosen to not undergo gestational diabetes testing and that that decision can be something that your doctor will support you in doing if um, if the anxiety of the procedure is too much for you and if there's no reason to think that you would have issues with that anyways. If there was a strong reason to believe that I needed to have some sort of testing uh, and I have had a number of labs, lab work performed uh, and needles and vaccinations given, um, that if there was reason to suspect there was an issue I would most definitely um, do the blood work, uh, whatever was necessary for the safety of the baby. Interesting things to keep a heads up for is my uh, labor plan because um, my labor plan is going to have to work around the fact that I have this needle phobia and that will be fun. Um, thank you for listening. I hope that this has been helpful for some people. Thanks for watching uh, and I'll get back to you guys for an update on week 29. Bye!